The Future of Home Protection – Best Floodlight Cameras of 2023 Hello everyone. So today, we've broken down the top six products in the business, so it will be simple for you to pick out the correct option. If you enjoy this video, a sub to the channel would be fabulous. Make sure to check out the description below for more information and the latest pricing. Ring Wired Pro Those hoping to add the ultimate in high-tech security monitoring need to look at the Ring Floodlight Cam Wired Pro. This Ring camera is a step up in technology, and it provides advanced security features that seem straight out of a spy thriller. Its basic functions are all top-notch too. It records in 1080p resolution and features two adjustable lamps emitting 2,000 lumens of light. The two-way audio is clear, and the voices are easy to understand. The siren, which can be configured to go off when motion is detected or turned on remotely, is startlingly loud. It also takes some time to get used to the bird's eye view function, but we liked it once we figured it out. These features sync with satellites in real time to monitor the movements of someone on the property. The bird's eye view appears as a pop-up window, and rather than showing a human being walking around, it leaves dots on an aerial shot of the home. The dots are color-coded, turning from white to yellow to red, and finally fading away. Every time a white dot appears, it indicates the person has just moved. It's a neat idea and offers the ability to see how the person has moved around the property. Once the person moves outside a range of about 30 feet from the device, the dots no longer appear. The downside is that the bird's eye pop-up window blocks some of the view of the main video screen, which can be distracting. However, the bird's eye pop-up can be disabled to view the entire main video and re-enabled when desired. WiseCam Wise is known for its good value cameras, and the floodlight, based on the WiseCam V3, is no different. It offers optional sensitivity up to 30 feet, with three PIR sensors boasting 270 degree coverage and can pour 2600 lumens of light out. Unsurprisingly, it does require a wired power supply, but despite its IP56 weather resistance, it manages to sneak in a USB port to power an additional camera unit if desired. That makes it great for mounting on corners, though you'll need to pay for the extra device. The Wise Cam V3 camera offers local storage onto a micro SD card, though you'll need to subscribe to the Cam Plus cloud service to unlock AI features. This includes person, package, vehicle, and pet detection. It also unlocks the recording of clips over 12 seconds and takes out a five minute wait between clips, so there is much to be said for it. We're not sure why Wise seems to be slow to the international market. The devices work outside the US and are not geolocked, but you'll need an American address to sign up for the cloud monitoring. Arlo Pro 3. The gorgeous Arlo Pro 3 floodlight is designed like a winged version of the brand's other cameras. With a 2K HDR camera, it offers better resolution than many and doesn't need wired power. It ships with a chunky battery but underneath is the MagSafe light connector familiar to Arlo users. Here, an optional permanent power supply can be connected easily, and you still get battery backup. On the subject of options, the camera will connect to Arlo's base station, which offers local video storage without a subscription. You'll also need this to connect the camera to Apple's HomeKit, an excellent option to have given how frequently HomeKit is overlooked, but at a price. The Arlo app is available for iOS and Android. The 2000 lumens, or 3000 once you're plugged in, provide enough light to cover about 10 meters. Because the LEDs are fitted to the camera body, they are directed in line with the lens when you mount it. Some will find it convenient, while others might wish for a choice. Eufy Security S330 The Eufy Floodlight Cam 2 Pro comes with a lot of features and works very well. It has many useful features, such as the ability to record well, a large number of ways to customize it, and smart assistance support that can be used in many ways. The best floodlight cameras have a strong human detection feature, a weatherproof rating of IP65, and are compatible with both Alexa and Google Assistant. The floodlight has an emergency siren that goes off at 100 decibels, 8 gigabytes of storage built in, and the ability to add more storage, like cloud storage or an NAS. Besides all of its features, the Cam2 Pro is a smart floodlight that works very well. 
It can record clear 2K quality video that is often lit by lights with a brightness of 3000 lumens. The Cam 2 Pro can also turn 360 degrees, which lets users see everything around them. Google Nest Cam with Floodlight. Like many of the products on this list, Nest has added individually directable floodlights to the Nest Cam. The rounded design is almost Disney robot cute, but the 2400 lumens of light will still be an effective deterrent, and all the usual treats like two-way talk are on offer. App control via iOS or Android is available. Though just as Ring and Blink prefer Alexa, Nest's devices prefer Google Home for smart home integrations. The Nest Cam boasts one of the better feature sets on offer, with or without the Nest Aware Cloud subscription plan. Activity zones and person-animal distinctions are made in the standard plan, reducing false alerts and recorded events linger for three hours rather than being live view only. The standard Nest Aware plan offers a 30-day event history and familiar face recognition, but Nest also provides 10 days of 24-7 video, giving you the opportunity to scroll back through every moment if you want and want to pay extra for it. Finally, with a built-in battery and non-removable storage, the camera can keep working during a Wi-Fi or power blackout. EVE Outdoor Cam The EVE Outdoor Cam's design prioritizes a simple look that can fit in well with some home and garden lighting plans, but it performs similarly to most floodlights here. The housing can be directed when the light is installed, but unlike many on this list, it cannot be pointed separately to the camera. The light does cover a good area though, and is less directly aggressive than some, making it fit better with some homes as a garden light that happens to be a security light. Beyond the design, the light's advantages and disadvantages are tied to your perception of Apple's HomeKit ecosystem. Eve doesn't charge a cloud subscription, but HomeKit requires at least a basic subscription to iCloud for cameras. That unlocks the ability to scroll back through alerts and recordings which isn't taken out of your iCloud gigabytes. It also enables AI for animal, people, and package recognition, and even facial recognition for people registered in your Apple contacts. It's a good system, but it is frustrating that you also end up with Eve's own app, so managing the device isn't as Apple easy as it should be. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos.